directly at Illinois. We finished up our little vintage computer festival in Elmhurst, Illinois. And we have taken a little 30 minute drive south to Joliet. This is our first time vlogging in Joliet. And to be honest with you, I don't even know a lot about the area. But there's something here that I've been wanting to check out for a while. There it is. Check this out. This is the last remaining Rax restaurant in Illinois. In fact, there's only about eight or so left of these in the country. So while it is still here, I've been wanting to check this place out. Now I don't have a lot of history with this restaurant chain, except for my family's twice a year road trip to West Virginia, midway through Ohio, on the Ohio Turnpike, we would hit one of the older service plazas that had a Rax restaurant. This is a piece of history that may not be here for much longer. Let's go inside. Well, ignoring all the copyrighted music, check out the decor. Very 90s-ish. And this is what we're dealing with. We will dig into that shortly. I was kind of hoping we would be able to sit in here, but it doesn't look like it. This is definitely retro feels for sure. Now when I'm talking about older service plazas on the Ohio Turnpike, I'm talking about the 90s before they had turned them into spaceships. And in the middle of the Turnpike, somewhere in between Toledo and Cleveland, was Rax, and that's usually where we stop for lunch. One of the highlights for me at Rax back in the day was the all-you-can-eat buffet salad bar. And unfortunately it is gone here, although I was kind of expecting that. Now, I don't remember the menu much from the 90s, but there was something I definitely had to try. Now, as you probably know, Rax basically lost the roast beef war to Arby's. So we had to check out the classic beef and cheddar, and the curly fries. But we are going to look at this with an open mind while we deal with some copyrighted music. <laughs> the cheese definitely looks different, and not as much beef as you would get with like the double beef and cheddar or whatever from Arby's. All right, I guess the only thing left is to dig in. Honestly, I gotta say I'm pretty pleased with it. It's pretty good. I actually like the cheese sauce.
almost asked for Arby sauce, but <laughs> got barbecue sauce instead. Forgot to put it on a sandwich, but I guess we can dip the fries with it. That is pretty good as well. So far everything I tasted, very similar to Arby's. All right, we got a big one here. <laughs> mm. Now, I'm not a very critical food reviewer, if you've seen some of the food reviews I've done on my channel, but overall, I gotta say, this is pretty good. Although, I will admit, I do wish that I brought some of my own Arby sauce with me. I'm just saying. Because Arby sauce is the OG sauce to, to put on your beef and cheddar. I'm sorry. I just noticed this table design. That is so 90s, isn't that? Even though, obviously, it is dated, that's part of the charm, it's still very clean in here. Carpeted floors. I know folks have a mixed opinion on that. Seats and tables. Very. Oh, poor lady just lost her hat outside. <laughs> but anyway, the seats and tables, although dated, are in really good shape as well. No tears that I can see on any of them. Overall, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Now, this is not a Rax history documentary. There's plenty of those videos out there on YouTube if you want to check it out. I'm sure there are a ton of reasons why this place failed, you know, compared to Arby's. But definitely look into it if you are interested. They also, apparently back in the 80s or something, had a really weird cartoon mascot that was a whole thing of, of its own. I know Rax was pretty popular in Ohio, and I'm pretty sure there are still a few in that Ohio, Kentucky area. But if you are in the Chicagoland area and you want to visit a Rax, check it out here in Joliet. As I say, it is the last remaining one in Illinois. It's off Illinois State Route 52, which I think is a pretty big road in this area. Again, I'm not too familiar with the Joliet area. And if you are interested in this sort of thing, definitely check out my retail mall playlist on my channel. Definitely try to cover topics like this more. And I have to say, pretty impressed with the traffic flow inside the restaurant, and through the drive-thru. So I hope it sticks around for a while. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.